Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a review on my Bislob ARF control line plane. Um, I'm doing this review because I had a request from one of my friends. Okay, well I bought this in, uh, huh, actually I can't, oh yeah, I bought this in a hobby shop in Erie. Um, it was pretty tricky to assemble, like the uh, control horn and all that. I don't even have the control horn actually screwed in, it's just epoxied on. Same with the back here, well actually that one's screwed in, but I put some epoxy on it too. Um, it was really hard, the control assembly, and I'm still having problems with it, with the controls right now actually. There we go. They stick really easily, and that's not good during flight. Um, Anyway, as I said, it was really hard to assemble, but once I got past it, everything else was easy. The, uh, I really don't like this about most ARFs, this type of landing gear assembly with just the screws, because I don't think that's, that holds it very well. Um, well, I, I had this, oh well, before I go on to that, I don't like the way this tail is. It's offset a lot, but it doesn't. This plane doesn't pull at all. I mean, it's like nothing, and the engine's offset a lot too. But I think I need to take part of the tail here, slice it here, and then make this part straight. So that way, it'll actually turn out instead of just going funky. Um, after I got done assembling this plane, I went out and flew it, and I wrecked it because it is touchy. You can see. I got some damage there. Crushed it inboard, or yeah, inboard wing. Got that. Then we've got all these patches and whatnot. I had busted ribs right there, and a lot of them right in there. I think there's one still busted, but I don't know where it is. I don't know. I kind of crushed the fuselage, and then I got the Monaco tore off because it got crushed or something. Sorry about that. Yeah, something weird happened. It's a Fox 35 stun engine, and I have it running really, really slow because this bias lob, obviously, it's a slow flying plane. Um, I put the... Uh, the wings on with five minute epoxy, but five minute epoxy, I don't use that stuff anymore because it doesn't hold up very well. I really do need to put some extra strength on there because that's not good. Assembling the hinges was, I think, the hardest part because what happened was we were using uh, some type of CA. I don't remember what it was, but it was some type of CA. And uh, stupid controls. I gotta fix this because the lead outs down in there keep on catching on the edge of the wood. Anyway, so I had to, uh, geez. We used some type of CA, and you see that white stuff, that, that's the white stuff around there, that is like hardened CA, and it, we, actually used a lot of CA and we accidentally poured it on the wing made the whole wing completely like white and it looked like we spilled white paint on it and it was horrible so we used some thinner and got it off I put this decal on here this plane it's it's not very sturdy considering that I have uh, I crashed it which is kind of weird I slowed it down, I slowed the needle valve down by one click, which that shouldn't be very much. And the plane took off, went really slow, I tried to bring it into a hover, and since it doesn't pull it actually came towards me. I think I really have to mess with that tail because it was coming towards me and it almost landed at my feet. And that could have been really dangerous. I may take this to this year's Brodak 2010, but I need to put a muffler on it. Um, this engine is, this is the Fox engines that had the, uh, 
They have the holes for the muffler, I think. I don't know. Yeah, I think. Not a really new Fox, but a recent Fox. Um, oh, yeah. The holes were pre-drilled for the Fox 35, but they did not fit on this for this 35. And that made me so mad, and I had to ream them out and do all this stuff. This plane, I kind of, like... I modified it a little bit because I couldn't, the, the way the instructions were, it was just kind of ridiculous. I mean, no offense to Brodak or anything, but, um, so I had to do a few modifications. I can't think of them right now, but, yeah, I did a couple modifications to it. Okay, well, that was a review on the on my Bicelab ARF. Thanks for watching.